I am feeling a bit evil today. I think I am going to prank my Bengal cats with cat training tape. Ooh. <laughs> I am going to apply this to all of the furniture and see what happens. And I'll tell you what, they're not gonna like the prank. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course you clicked on this video because you love Bengal cats or you have a Bengal cat and you want to train them how to train your Bengal cat. We're gonna start with enforcing household rules because honestly, this is something they need to learn by day one. My cats just don't know the meaning of no. No, you stop that. And when your cat does not understand no, you gotta go a little extreme and tape up the furniture. Going back to my prank, so the status of my cats is they have all of their claws. We give them cardboard cat scratchers and they have this big beautiful cat tree and along the post is wrapped up a rope so they can scratch the rope, they can scratch the cardboard. To me, that should be a fulfilling sensation but they have this need to also scratch the fabric of my furniture. We tell them no, and then they listen for like maybe an hour, they wait till you leave the room, and then they go back to scratchy scratching the wrong stuff. I purchased two different Amazon brands of cat training tape. They're pretty similar in price, and I secretly think they're like the same thing, just like rebranded. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you, but how would you guys know if you don't have somebody test it out for you? So I will do the test and review for you and see what I recommend, but I'll bring you along on this cat training journey. Kitty, you don't know this, but your playground is about to get a lot smaller. They love to scratch this office chair. This side of the couch, the flaps of the gold chair, this side of the ottoman, and this side of the chair, and this ugly chair. Which, I'm not joking, my mom and I agreed it's both ugly, but the kitties don't know that. You can see we tried something already, but it's not double-sided. But if I peel it back, oh, like it is so frayed. It looks so, so bad. What you looking at? Oh, don't be doing bad stuff on camera. Kitty, oh my God, Kitty, what are you eating? Ew, no, okay. This naughty Bengal cat, his name is Perses. And in Greek mythology, that means the Titan of destruction. Oh my God, are you being bad on camera? If only he learned to retract his claws but he never does. We're gonna start with the orange kitty. <laughs> kitty, kitty, no. <laughs> he is so bad. My Bengal cats are so extremely curious. Oh my goodness, okay, no, I'm throwing this away. Oh my gosh, kitty, he's now chewing my phone. Kitty, kitty, don't make me put the, the cat training tape on my phone. This is extremely sticky, and I think I made the piece too long for my own good. Wow, okay, yeah, I'm messy, and I'm not even done yet, but take a look at the chair. It's see-through tape, but it's not invisible. So you can see like from the lighting, it's gonna show up. And let's say you have an orange tabby and he rubs against the tape. You're gonna have now like a nice orange stripe. Um, it's obviously worse if you mess up as you can see, but some furniture is kind of more disguised. Like take a look here. When the sun catches it, yes, you can see the tape, but do you see how at certain angles it blends in? 
And like, I don't think you can see it that much on the gold chair. It just looks shiny and reflectant right there, you see? This is bad. And like, that's real bad. I still have more of the yellow kitty cat training tape, but I'm going to put it aside and now move on to the black kitty, since I told you I was comparing the two cat training tapes. But both of these, they are three inch by 30 yards. So you're getting the same amount. And honestly, I, th I still think the exact same thing, but I don't want to speak too early. I legit got a paper cut from this. Is it bleeding? We're good guys, it was so small, there's no blood. But when I apply hand sanitizer to my hands, it's gonna burn. I'm kind of bummed out, like I don't know where the cats were. Like I know it's like their napping hour, you know, cats and their cat naps. But my kitty cats are so curious whenever any type of action is going on, I could be taking out the trash for like the 100th time. They are here to watch me. So like, I bet, oh, I found Percy's. Okay, usually he rolls up in a ball right in this position. This looks so uncomfortable and looks like he's too big for it. What are you doing, kitty? How come you weren't watching your cat mama? I can tell you right now that uh, it's a very messy job. <laughs> hey, kitty, kitty. Oh, there you are. There you are. You're taking a little nap. You have no idea what's in store for you. I'll give you a hint. It's sticky. There you are. Oh, your eyes are all lit up. I love you, cutie. Hey, Nikki. You're looking around. How was your nappy poo? I am just waiting for the moment for them to notice this. Do they just not care? I'm looking at the cats right now. They're awake from their nap and they're like not checking out the furniture. I don't know. It's like, dang it. I promise I will get footage of that so you can see their reaction. The application was the same between both cat training tapes. It's not like one tape went on easier than the other. It honestly really depends on the fabric of the furniture. Like I noticed I was on the struggle bus when I dealt with the couch and then that brown chair, but then it was really good at sticking to that gold chair and that gold chair. I made the personal decision to not put any of the cat tape on top of the furniture, and believe me, they do jump on top of the furniture to scratch it. They love, like, especially right here, actually. I always see them going at it, but I did not want to discourage them from hopping up on the furniture when I'm there and giving me some cuddles. Like, I don't want them to feel like they can't touch anything. And if I put it on top of the furniture, you know who's gonna get stuck in it? Me. <laughs> Update, it's been about two weeks and I've been pretty disappointed because all I wanted, literally, like all I wanted out of this was to walk into the living room and find one of my cats taped and pressed up to the furniture. <laughs> Which makes me sound so mean and I'd feel bad like because it's so sticky if it would have like waxed them But still like in order to train a cat they need to Have the experience of consequence, you know, but no, it wasn't like that So the cats came into the living room Discovered the tape and I was so excited. I had my iPhone out to like video them getting all caught and sticky and whatnot They sniffed it then they walked away and it's been like that every single day. Like, sure, they're not scratching the furniture, but they're also, like, I haven't observed them try to scratch it, get the miserable, sticky experience, and learn their lesson. Like, I, they need to learn the lesson. <laughs> so I don't know if their previous owner had used cat training tape as well, so like they already know what it is. One thing I can confirm is these Amazon cat training tapes are exactly the same. Both tapes are sticking the same way. They are just equally as smelly to my cats. So at least now we know that. So when you do shop on Amazon, 
just go for whichever one is cheapest. Today we are removing the tape. Well, half of it. If all the tape is gone, are they just gonna go back to scratching it? Like, is this really training our cats to not scratch at all? So we're just gonna do half. My mom already pointed out the pieces she wants removed, AKA the pieces she keeps getting stuck in. Like, <laughs> I walk in the living room and she's the one stuck. <laughs> but um, yeah, my mom is highly annoyed at this tape and probably cause I completely taped up her chair, <laughs> which makes sense. Okay, come along with me. Come on, oh, okay, okay, come on. Let's go remove that tape. Mom! Mom! I'm stuck in the tape! Mom! <laughs> this is the chair to remove a pound of tape from. You do see truffs of hair here, but that's oftentimes because they walk in between the ottoman and the chair. Oh, it does come off pretty easy in that sense. Ah! <laughs> It's still though so sticky. Um, I'm trying to think where this gets started, but it all overlaps. I think I'm gonna have to just stick my hand in my Oh my gosh, this is so stuck. Look, I can't even put my weight down and have it rip off. Ah, oh my God, that was so sticky. Oh my gosh, no, no, this is gonna hurt so bad here. <laughs> I feel like I waxed the furniture. <laughs> it's so sticky. So, um, okay, well the cats aren't here to like take a look and see what's going on. Maybe it's a good thing that they're not watching me remove it, but that probably doesn't matter if your cat sees you doing this and that with the tape. So, oh. I'm going to throw this away. It kind of makes me sad that you can't recycle tape, but I also get it <laughs> why you can't. And then I will continue on with an update. Another update featuring Percy's. That's the boy Bengal cat. As you can see though, the tape has not really been messed with still as before. It has not discouraged the kitty cats from getting on the furniture in the right places, which we definitely wanted to make sure that they still felt like family, that they were allowed to lounge around with us. And so Percy's loves this spot. And then there's other parts of the furniture that Niki loves, but Niki I can see is in her cat tree right now. Um, there are parts of the furniture that have accumulated little troughs of hair. I'm not for sure how that happened, but I've never heard like a cat wail or I've never seen a bald spot on them like they got waxed. So I don't know what that is, but they're fine. I promise, you know, y'all are fine, right? <laughs> He's happy. But I think the rest of the existing cat tape served its purpose and I think it's time to remove it. Okay, let me bring the camera down and censor that. Still so sticky. <laughs> oh, my God. it got his attention. Ugh. Oh my gosh, I made this a wraparound piece. I'm gonna need two hands. I'm gonna have to put you guys down. Oh, look how sticky. I, like, I don't even know if I have fingerprints anymore, but because it was still so sticky, I tried to reapply it and it wouldn't stick back to the furniture. It was weird, it's like it would no longer be able to stick to fabric, but it still stuck to itself and my fingers and like, come on, like why is that not sticky enough? I tried with several pieces that looked really good, but now Percy's is in on the action. Oh, wait, 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 you know what? I might be able to reuse this for good. See how Percy's has a little bit of shedding going on on this chair? <laughs> wait, is it getting it up? Maybe I made it too much into a ball. No, it's not sticky. Okay, never mind. I thought I was going to make double use of this. Oh, geez. okay, kitty. I don't want you to lose your paw print from this. 